Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Rye again. Well, it is my channel. <laughs> um, but I am back with round three. And that's with our third princess and of our Disney 100 celebration with Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. Um, before I get into it, just as always, I want to welcome my new followers, my current followers, anybody who's viewing this, I want to thank you uh, for supporting me. If you have not yet, it'd be greatly appreciated if you subscribe to my channel. It's free. So if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Um, I do uh, doll reviews. Um, this in particular is the Disney 100 celebration video. Um, but I also do other collection reviews, blind boxes, movie reviews here and there, gameplay and live streams. So be sure to tune into those. I do giveaways on some of those as well. Um, but as we go back to this beauty, um, I just like my other videos, I am picking my favorite uh, Disney limited edition doll from the princesses. And since this is my third video, we are going to the third official princess, and that is Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. And this film originally, ugh, this film originally came out in 1959, so nine years later from Snow White. Um, this film revolves around Aurora or Briar Rose, um, and Maleficent was filled with jealousy and she went ahead and put a curse on Aurora that she would die on her 16th birthday. Um, but thanks to her three fairy godmothers, they changed the curse a little bit to just put her into a deep sleep and could be awakened by true love's kiss. And then of course we know that the prince kisses her, she revives, um, well she didn't die, but she wakes up <laughs> and everything is good again so that's a little gist if you haven't seen the movie but if you want to see it go ahead uh it's not one of my top movies but i do think aurora is a beautiful princess um but i'm going on too much the doll that i chose was the 60th anniversary sleeping beauty briar rose um outfit and this is the one that i've chosen as my favorite Let's go ahead and go to my collection room so we can get a further look on this beauty. Hence, sleeping beauty. <laughs> All right, so we are in my Disney collection room. Woohoo! And we can finally start reviewing the third princess, Aurora, from the movie Sleeping Beauty. Starting with the box. You can see that this has an iridescent effect as well as the Cinderella, um, but this box was actually from the Disney store, or now Shop Disney. Um, it's kind of the same colors as the Cinderella one, but you get the purple, pink, and blue, kind of like how they <laughs> were changing her dress colors throughout the movie. Um, you will get a shine for the border of the display window. Um, it's a silver kind of foil shine effect and then the designs on the outside are also kind of the floral leaves uh, effect. I don't really see flowers in it but it kind of gives you that leaves um, design around and it's also a silver foil effect. In the top left, you'll see the Disney logo, and at the bottom, you will see the name, uh, the plaque name, which is also within the, the box. It says 60th Anniversary Sleeping Beauty, Aurora Limited Edition, one of 4,500. Now, the display window is just the same as always, 
plastic and it has that embroidery of the floral leaves, but that's printed in white. So on the right side of the box, well, me facing right side, the box left side, <laughs> um, that you get the same overall effect with the iridescent and the borders with the foil-like effect of silver, and it gives that silvery shine, and the display window shows the side of the box, uh, I'm sorry, the display window shows the side of the doll with that white print and floral effect. The other side of the box, exactly the same, um, kind of keeps it that uniform, um, just like all the other dolls, um, and then you get the other side of the display window showing the other side of the doll. So now we come to the back of the box, and the colors and the effects also transition to the back um, with the iridescent effect, the foil effect of the borders, and then we see the foil effect on the wording. Um, we have Sleeping Beauty at the top, and then we have the description in English, and then we have the description, I believe it's French. I, I need to look that up so I can let y'all know, but I believe it's French. Um, then Certificate of Authenticity. This doll retailed at $119.95. Um, I'm not too sure if I got this one online. I think I did. Um, I don't remember when the Disney stores started closing, um, but I believe this one I got online. The really older dolls, I know I went in store to get. Now we'll go ahead and take off the top cover and plastic cover. I did forget to mention the top of the box. So the top of the box states Sleeping Beauty. Um, in a white print, and it has the same effects with the flat white on the leaves, and around you'll have that same iridescent effect with the box. As you take off the front of the box, you get the display window box, and that's also boarded, uh, bordered with the white print, and it also has the same 60th anniversary Sleeping Beauty Aurora. So this one did have a certificate of authenticity that was at the bottom and not the back. All right, let's get a closer look at the certificate of authenticity. Sorry for my shaking, um, but it has that same effect as the box. And then you have Sleeping Beauty. Certificate of Authenticity, I have number 591 of 4500. If you'd like to pause and read, you can. I'll try to get the glare out of that. Let me try to hold it still for you guys. You guys are like, you're shaking too much. Um, but if you want to pause here, you should be able to read it. The back, we have the French language which is what I'm assuming, um, correct me if I'm wrong, um, with the same exact effect as the front. All right, so we can see the shoes of this doll, unlike majority of the dolls. So we'll go ahead and start with the shoes. It is a plastic black shoe, black heel shoe, um, but it does have a ribbon that goes around the ankles, which is really cute. So they added that little touch to it to give more of a high um, high fashion collector doll feel. So I do appreciate that uh, detail. Then, as you can see, there's the doll stand that majority of the dolls come with, um, which I personally love. So if anybody wants to debox it all, you'll have a stand to uh, display the doll outside of the box. Now this doll, let's see, let's see if there's an under layer underneath this. So there is a little tool, mini skirt kind of thing underneath. Then we have one, two, so we have one, two, three, four layers on the skirt. So the bottom layer is, is a white see-through color 
um, with embroidery as well. The white thread has a shiny uh, glitter effect to it. Then as we move our way up to the next two layers, it looks like one layer is white and the other layer is a light pink and it's very thin. It's a very thin fabric. Uh, the bottom is a little bit thicker because of the embroidery, I'm assuming. Um, but the next two layers are stacked on top of each other. Then we go to her top part of her skirt and the color is beautiful to me. It seems like there's two layers of this silk fabric and there's padding in it that makes it thicker. Um, so we have that which gives it that extra value to the doll. The embroidery goes along the bottom of the dress. The gold shine effect to it with silver flowers um, with the threaded in there as well. Then we get the, uh, the jewels for the embellishment with a clear um, kind of glue on jewel, <laughs> if you would say. Um, and it seems like it's just uh, bordering around the vines of the uh, embroidered area on the skirt or dress. It looks like the embroidery stops here and does not continue to the back. So that's kind of one thing I, I don't like that Disney did with some of the dolls, that they kind of just half, excuse my language, half-assed it um, with just the front. So the, those who want a D-box, you won't have any embroidery that goes around. Um, as we move our way up to her bodice, it is, it looks leather, but it actually is a satin fail. Um, and then you have the ribbons that are on the uh, front as well. Then you have that embroidered gold and silver effect, which I think is a perfect tie-in to the embroidery of the top layer of the dress. So I think that is a good touch. Instead of just making it one color gold, they added both. So I'm not mad there. Then we look at the top of her bodice and let me feel. So it's a thicker fabric here. Um, and then it's kind of like a tan, a light, light tan, maybe like an eggshell color. Um, and it's long sleeves and it goes down to about her elbows and then puffs out um, with a gold, um, maybe like a gold rope ribbon um, tied around her elbows. And that's on both sides. Before we get to the cute little birdie, we're gonna go ahead and go to her shawl. Um, her shawl, I'm gonna touch it. Ooh, so I did not notice this. So now that I'm looking closer, but her shawl has a flat pattern on the front. So on the front, you just have a satin pink fabric and the borders of that shawl is gold, it looks like. Um, I wanna say it's all gold, but it looks like maybe there are some silver in there. So I, I have to take a closer look, but from afar, um, from where I am, it looks like it's all gold embroidered. Um, and then at the bottom, you have the little tassels that are gold. And then on the inside that I've never <laughs> really paid attention to. And, and that's the great thing that I like about doing these doll reviews. I get to see more in detail what was on these. But on the other side, you have a flower print um, that looks like it was sewed maybe. Um, on the other side, and I can definitely feel that it's not printed on and it's kind of like sewed in there. Um, and there's something in between there, kind of like the, the top of this, the dress and um, makes it thicker. So I'm actually quite excited that I <laughs> noticed that. Um, I love this doll even more now. Anyways, um, Let's go ahead and make our way up to her face. My favorite part. 
um, I'm sure all of you who watch my doll reviews know. Uh, the face is my favorite part of each of these dolls just because of the printing and the high quality job that the Disney store, Shop Disney, does. Um, you have the lip gloss, the blush, the eyes, the eyelashes, um, the rooted eyelashes, then you have that shimmery effect of the eyeshadow, then her eyebrows are also <laughs> on fleek. <laughs> I never use that word, so I don't know why I said that. Anyways, um, she does not have earrings, and she does not have a necklace. So that may be one thing I, I would have liked. I don't think this doll needs a necklace, but I think maybe earrings would at least have been cute, kind of like the studs that Cinderella had. Um, then we go up to her hair. You have the beautiful curls, her bangs with the curl in it as well. Very styled and put together. Let's see, it looks like they put a little, okay, they definitely put some gel uh, or glue on her bangs to keep it there. The hair also has that feel as well, I'm guessing to keep the curls in, um, which I don't mind because I'm keeping her in box. Um, but overall, her hair is perfect in my opinion. Um, so then we go to the top and we do have a headband, which is a black ribbon. Um, it does not have any embellishments on that. Then we go to her accessories. The last thing that we have to review, we have the cute little blue bird. It's so cute. Let me see its face. <laughs> I'm sorry, I see his face and he has the chubby cheeks and uh, his little black eyebrows and little hair on top of his head. Of course it's plastic. Then we have her basket when she goes out to collect uh, items. That is an amazing detailed basket. You see it was woven. Um, Disney could have just thrown in a flat basket, but they paid attention to the details on this. So you have those um, wooden aspects of it. Great detail. Let me see if it, it does continue on the bottom and it's not just on the top. So. I appreciate that. Then of course the background of the doll. We have that scene where she is in the woods singing and then the prince comes and scares her. <laughs> but anyways, um, there's that scene there which is perfect for this outfit. Um, now for my overall thoughts of this doll. My overall thoughts of this doll, I would give this doll a 9 out of 10. And like I mentioned before, most of these dolls will be higher rating because they are my favorites of the princesses. The only reason I give this a 9 out of 10 is because I feel that maybe the embroidery could have continued to the back of the dress then we could have had maybe a little bit more embellishments as well. And then we could have added some studs in her, her ears. Um, even if we did without the studs and just added a little bit more embellishment and continued that embroidery, I feel like it would have made the 10 out of 10. But overall, this is my favorite Aurora Sleeping Beauty doll. Let's go ahead and go back to my computer room so I can close out this video. And that was my review on the Sleeping Beauty 60th Anniversary Aurora doll. And that concludes my Disney 100 celebration with our third princess. Let me know below what you thought about the doll, if you have the doll, um, and if Aurora is your favorite princess. Um, also let me know if this isn't your favorite doll and what doll out there is your favorite of Aurora or in the Sleeping Beauty uh, franchise film um, and it can be any doll just let me know and if there's one I don't know or didn't know of whether it be Mattel or Disney I'm pretty sure I know all of the Disney ones but the <laughs> Mattel or any other like Hasbro that you like um, just leave a comment down below let me know what 
princesses you're looking forward to. And once again, it'd be greatly appreciated if you liked and subscribed. Um, stay tuned for our next princess, which is my favorite, and that's Ariel from The Little Mermaid. As always, I hope you have a good day, a good night, wherever you're at today. And remember to stay kind to yourself. Simply Rye, 